Starbucks employees in Denver are fresh off boats to unionize following a push from fellow baristas across the country. And now some of those workers say their employer is retaliating against them. That's why we bring our Nine News legal analyst Whitney Trailer in to break down what is happening here. So let's talk about first uh, what is happening. This is store to store. This is not like a, a broad uh, everyone wants to get a union against or to work with Starbucks. This is every store is on its own. That's correct. And that's what I think makes this kind of interesting is that these stores in Denver, specifically the, the barn on Colfax and there's one on Leedsdale, the workers have just decided to unionize and they're saying since then their hours have been reduced, they're being surveilled and other sort of retaliatory acts. So it is uh, kind of store by store, but the fact that you have all of this apparent retaliation happening at the same time is relevant. What does it mean for customers? Obviously, uh, yeah. there's a debate now about what people get paid, how much their benefits cost. Does that, does that pass through to customers? Should customers be concerned? Well, that's what the company will tell you. They'll say that, hey, this is, this is going to raise costs. This is going to raise the cost of doing business, and that's going to go to the consumer. You know, but they're saying, well, look, we need a livable wage. There's one of the big things that they're pushing for now here and really across the nation is increased security because now that you're starting to have increased crime in certain places, the security or, you know, people being... Uh, evicted and things like that people are in more dire situations some of these locations where people hang out or whatever has become unsafe and so, so it's it's not only wages it's the working conditions that they're worried about as well so this retaliation mm -hmm. is there evidence to support these allegations that you know beyond like when you talk about hours being reduced and mm -hmm. things like that right so really it's an issue of how soon after they started unionizing did Starbucks take whatever action? And mm. so they filed a claim with the National Labor Relations Board, which is the process they have to do. And that's one of the issues. And they'll put forth evidence of my hours were cut. They started to surveil me. They, one person they're alleging was threatened and one was terminated. And so if it turns out that was the case, then yes, Starbucks could definitely be on the hook. That could that. be a long time down the road. That's correct. Okay. And it could resolve before then as well. Yeah, I was going to say, you know this landscape. How hard is this? How, I mean, the, the does this take years? Does this take months? Well, the internal, I think the administrative procedure with the NLRA can go fairly quickly. Uh, and that can really put the employer on the hot seat because they're going to have to justify why they did various things. And when you look at Starbucks, you, there's, this is kind of across the nation. So in yeah. New York, for example, they're starting to unionize there. And after one of the stores in Ithaca unionized and they did it seems to be like a little mini strike. I'm not sure if it was well organized. They shut down the whole shop. Okay. And so that's another act that could be potentially retaliatory as well. So really follow it across the country. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it is quite a story when you think of the size of a company like Starbucks and the many people involved. We will continue to follow it and uh, turn yeah. to you for more advice and more insight into what's happening. That's right. And this, I think this is a bigger kind of a microcosm of the bigger picture, yeah. which is employee versus employer. And now employees are finding they're in, uh, have a little more leverage and coming together, they really have leverage. So that term used in the middle, a livable wage might be at the center of it for a lot of people. Right. Whitney, we'll get a chance to talk with you more about it another time. But thank you for coming in today. Sure thing. Good yeah. to see you.